This is Renee Rupakava and welcome to Odonet. So I want to talk about a uh, recent blog post that went up on Geonet on how to install the ArcGIS API for JavaScript uh, version 4.3 using NPM, even though it's not uh, currently published to NPM. Uh, you can do it using the, uh, the Bower repo uh, that's currently available on GitHub. So it's got instructions here on how to do it. So I just want to do a uh, little video here showing the steps that you would go through to do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clone the repo that is up on GitHub. So clear that again. Clone. All right, so I'm just going to clone right into my project here. Let's go to JSAPI resources and I'm going to go to the uh, uh, 4x uh, folder in here. Let's open this up in code so you don't have to watch me do everything in Vim, even though that would be totally awesome. Um, but I'm doing copy and pasting, and yeah, I just want to. It's easier to do it this way. So, okay, so let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at Bower.json, uh, just the way that it described it to us. So, we come in here. Uh, basically, you're going to take uh, bits from the bower.json and just kind of tweak them a bit um, to turn them into dependencies in the package.json. So let's copy that. Uh, so let's go here to our package.json. Now we don't currently have a dependencies list, so let's make one. I'm gonna copy in those dependencies there. I'm going to delete the bower.json. This is all going according to plan. All right, so now what we're going to do is let's look here. So we did our package.json, bower.json, and now we should just be able to npm install everything. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install our dependencies. Open my old terminal here. I'll use yarn. Uh, instead of npm just to uh, actually no cancel that I did forget to do one thing here I forgot to go in my package.json and uh, this uh, pre-install let's get rid of that all right awesome so uh, let's go ahead and make sure it didn't do anything no I didn't have time to do anything so okay let's just do a yarn install again I'll let yarn do all the installation for us and we'll uh, be right back Man, all right, that took a while. So, okay, so we've gone ahead and we've installed everything. We look at the node modules, ArcGIS, JS API. We've got our uh, code in here. So this is the JavaScript API from Bower, uh, well, just from GitHub, that's uh, released on Bower, installed via NPM, or Yarn, however you want to call it. Uh, use package.json, that's all that matters. Okay, so there's a couple of things according to the, uh, the blog post we need to do. So we need to go into source, the index.html. Now, just to get this to work um, to, uh, for development, we got to do a couple of things. And we need to update the dojo config. So as you can see here, we're looking at packages. Um, we have an app package, which of course we do, but we don't have digit, dojo, and so on, and Esri inside of our source folder. They're inside the node modules folder. So we need to tell Dojo, um, you know, hey, you need to be looking inside node modules for everything. So I'm just going to copy and paste that here. So that's what we're doing. We're saying the base URL is going to be node modules, and you're going to find digit in there, Dojo, and so on, and up to moment. But the app URL, wait a second, we got to go back up a folder, go up from node modules, look at source, and look at app to find the app package. And then inside of the node modules folder, uh, dstore is actually called dojo dstore, and Esri is actually called arcgis-js-api. So we'll save that. Um, we do have to kind of tweak one thing inside of our code. So we come to the app package, come to main here. I need to bring in the um, Esri config. So Esri slash config. 
I get the first one. And when you make this little update here, and this is only um, for the workers stuff to work. Uh, there are workers being used inside JavaScript API, and they are looking for a path called Esri. Workers run inside of their own um, context, so they don't see the global dojo, the global dojo config. So we have to tell the workers configuration where to find the Esri package, which is going to be remember we're in node modules folder um, when this is running, and it's going to be up a package in ArcGIS-JS-API. All right, awesome. So let's uh, see if this uh, works on our local machine here. Okay, so I'm loading this up my local machine. Uh, ah, I forgot to update where the um, CSS files are actually coming from. So I need to do that. So I got that. I need to do one thing here. I need to bring in, I forgot, I need Dojo has here. I'm going to bring in uh, has there. Okay, so I need to bring in that has check, and this is used um, to make sure that I am not uh, in a, well, to make sure that the code has not been built yet. Um, so as long as the code hasn't been built yet, I need to be able to, I need to be able to do this thing for the workers here. And there we go. We've got our uh, application running in development mode, um, unbuilt, and I'm able to go ahead and build use my application here. So let's get ready to do a build. So how would I do that? I need to, if you read the blog post, I need to create a JavaScript file. You can call it anything, but I'll call it dojo config js and this javascript file is actually going to be um, it's going to be a dojo config but it's only going to be used inside of a node environment for uh, build purposes because we're going to run the build uh, from uh, for dojo using the command line uh, using node so what i'm doing here is i'm telling it the base url again is node modules Dojo's dojo, but the build folder is going to be located in dojo-util slash build. That's because by default, it's looking for a util folder, not dojo util. So I need to do this, uh, uh, redefine the package here, and then ca uh, call it in seven node environment uh, this way. So, okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to update this make file uh, here. Let's say that the uh, so build directory is just... Uh, source directory let's see here how often I'll leave that there let's call this uh, node dir is equal to node modules copy this I need this to be actually we're going to be doing this dojo config that's right that's right. Oh, I don't actually need, need uh, this node dir. All right. Now I can just run make. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to update my uh, profile. So I need to update my build profile uh, in a similar way as I did to the uh, dojo config. And that's in the blog post too. I just didn't, uh, no, a little trigger happy. Here. So, okay, so let's go to profile. Let's go to the packages, which are defined here. Okay, so let's start from here to there. And I'm doing something very similar to what we did in the dojo config for the actual application itself, where I'm telling it, you know, Esri is actually located in the node modules ArcGIS JS API folder. Uh, for things like dgrid, dstore, dojox, and dojo, you need to add these trees. Um, property so that it doesn't try to compile any of the test stuff or anything all right so okay now we can run make all right so our build has completed let's go to the built folder our built application and there we go we've got our application up and running 
come in here, it's like JavaScript files, refresh, and we've only got the one Dojo Jest file, our built file, about 2.7 megabytes. Awesome. And that's it. That's how you can uh, go over the blog post, look at some of the instructions on how to set this up if you want to try using NPM with the current release of the JavaScript API today. Thank you. Thank you.